Well, I'm back, Mark Beeson here, and home from Italy. I had quite the adventure in Italy. I got to see the inside of Gemelli Hospital, which is the Pope's hospital. So if you're going to go anywhere, you ought to go there. I was sitting in St. Peter's Square and talking with a gal, because I talk with everyone, as you may know, I was talking with a gal behind me at this great colonnade, and she was telling stories about planting churches here and there and all over the world, and I was talking about our church planting efforts in India, and I turned and looked at her, and suddenly it was like, oh, something's wrong. And I looked to my wife and I said, am I crying? She said, well, open your eyes. I said, my eyes are open. <laughs> Apparently they weren't uh, quite as usual. So I grabbed my eye and held it open and I was trying to sort out what had happened. We ended that conversation and uh, I'll tell you what, friends, it was so good to have the support and love and prayers of people around me. Uh, both Dr. Jim Blackwell and Dr. Tom Morton were on the trip to Italy with Sheila and with me. Uh, Lori Garwood and Dale Garwood were right next to us at the colonnades, and Lori jumped up and she ran to get help, and Dale said, Mark, I've got you. And I'll tell you, Dale, when he's got you, he's got you. And so I held on to him and walked and navigated my way to a place where I could get in a car and go to the hospital. And uh, discovered there that I'm going to need uh, just a few weeks where I'll be in uh, some kind of a recovery process. Right now I'm doing eye exercises on this S, follow the finger on this S motion. And, and I'll take a few weeks and be working on recovery. I want to let you know that after this crazy adventure in Italy, that a few things are clear to me. One, we have a phenomenal team at Granger Community Church and our team's got it. I mean, they've got the weekends, they've got the program, they've got the ministry, they've got four Michiana, they've got it. And uh, we're running hard together. So continue strong with a great team. Second, I learned that I have a lot of people who pray for me to be a strong leader. And so I wanted to get right now in front of you and say, you know what, by God's grace, I'm here and I'm here until I'm not here. <laughs> As far as I can tell, that's a long time away. I feel strong, and I'm looking forward to a few weeks of recovery and therapy, and then I'm planning to hit it as hard as I can hit it with you and with the great team here at GCC. We have a great future ahead. I also learned that all hospitals look the same in the hallway. I spent some hours on a gurney with other gurneys lined up in the hallway, and I'll tell you what, it's really something. I also learned that in Italy, even at Gemelli Hospital, you can't just walk around with your gown flying open. Now, I didn't know that. It seemed to me to be fine. I just walked all around. But uh, in Italian, it was made clear to Sheila and to me that it was not appropriate and I should get back to my room. So I did that. I have learned also in the last few days that we have great, great weekends here that are probably as strategically positioned as they have ever been. With your opportunity to group up and discuss the weekends, with your opportunity to make friends and talk about weekend experiences, our weekends, which are powerful, which are artistic and beautifully and creatively presented, give you an opportunity to lean in and take a step towards Christ, to experience God and God's truth, and then go into groups and talk about it. I learned that a lot of you care. Thank you, thank you for praying. Thank you for loving Sheila and me. We've been overwhelmed by your kindness and goodness. So many of you looked into the camera and said, we're praying for you, pastor, we love you. Thank you for caring, thank you for praying. I've also learned that all of us have limited ability. We're all frail, we're all in need of each other. There are things we can do and there are things we cannot do. And I thank you for doing what you could do to encourage Sheila and to encourage me. And I want to do the same for you. I wanna be an encouragement to you and to yours. A great summer is ahead of us. Great days of opportunity. Summer camp and mission trips and all of the various things that will make this future of ours as we move towards Christ together step by step bright and good and hopeful. I have learned that I love you 
and I am honored to be your pastor. Thank you, friends. Thank you for praying. Thank you for serving. Thank you for loving Jesus with us. The team's got it. You've got it. We've got it. And we're on it. Great days are ahead. And I can't wait to get back in the harness and pull for all I'm worth to make a difference for Jesus Christ right beside you here in Michiana. God bless you, friends. Here we go. It's going to be a great day.